Hello and welcome to another edition of Cracking Cryptic where I thought we'd take a quick look at the killer from uh, today's time. It's deadly rated so it should be reasonably challenging. As usual what I'll do is I'll just uh, fill in some of the givens. So three, a three self answer that adds up to seven has to be one, two, four. And that's checking this five box here. Now a five can only contain the numbers one, two, three and four. So this therefore would have to be a three. Which would mean this is a two, uh, which means does it well? The seven box in here as well is interesting. So da -da 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 -da. I can't quite figure out where that one goes. I can figure out the value of this cell. That would be the next uh, step I would consider. The way to do that is to add seven to twenty-nine and get thirty-six. So you know these two cells here have to sum to 9 in order that um, this whole box adds to 45. Now if these two sum to 9, this cell here has to be an 8. <coughs> okay, where would I go next? Uh, this 30 box here is very restricted, it has to be 6, 7, 8, and 9. That. So uh, interesting. So we've got 18 plus 3 is 21 plus 7 is 28. Um, so you know again these two cells, in order that this row adds to 45, these two cells here have to add to 17. The only way that's possible is if they're 8 and 9. So we can actually win rid of those there and then can get rid of 8 and 9 here so this is 6 and 7 still can't quite resolve this 9 box so just write that here, six, seven, here. this has to be a 5 so the 6 and 7 are already in this box Now, if these two cells sum to 9, and this, they can only be 3 and 6 because every other combination of 9 and 2 digits is ruled out by the existence of a 1, 2, and 4 elsewhere in the box. There's also a 6 here, so in fact, this cell here has to be a 3 and this has to be a 6. Now we know we need to place a 3 in one of these three cells just by simple Sudoku rules, and look. Uh, there's already a 3 here, and there can't be a 3 here, so in fact this has to be a 3. You can see quickly as well, this can't be a 4. If this is a 4, this would have to be a 3 as well, so this can't be a 4. Um, so the two possibilities here are 5 and 6 for this digit. <coughs> Well, it's a slightly long-winded way of making progress, but I can see if I draw an imaginary line up the grid here where the cursor is moving, you should be able to see that by doing that I can isolate the value of these two cells. How can I do that? Well, because I know that each individual column of the complete completed grid will sum to 45 because it will add well, it will include the numbers 1 to 9 exactly once each. So I know that this will sum to 45, this will sum to 45, this will sum to 45, and this will sum to 45. So I know these four columns sum to 180. If I start adding up the numbers within them, so I've got 10, 24, 36, uh, 38, 58, 77, 81, 93, 110, 133, 163, 168. So I know these two cells here have to sum to 12 in order to ensure that this all works. Now, the thing is, if these two have to sum to 12, this can't be a 6, because that would mean this would also be a 6. So this needs to be a 7, this needs to be a 5, that makes that a 4 and that a 6. 
and then and that ought to be fairly helpful if I look in sort of that as well there. This now has to be a one. And this has to be eight and nine. Like that. Um, and we're left with I think this being five and seven. This being eight and nine too. Now, if this is 8 and 9, that sums to 17. These two cells therefore have to sum to 4. And it can only be possible if these are 1 and 3. And that would have to be this way around. This 7 box now is forced in the sense that it can only be 2, 5 because 1, 6 is impossible and 3, 4 is impossible. That means this cell here has to be a 4 this has to be a 2, this has to be a 4. Uh, now we can isolate the value of this cell because um, if you look at the boxes in this 3x3 three three cage we know these three cells will sum to 19 plus 6 is 25 plus 4 is 29 plus 12 is 41 so this cell here has to be a 4 in order to ensure that the box adds to the correct number. You can see now that this 14, or well, there needs to be a 4 in one of these three cells. It can't have a 4 here, so there's definitely a 4 in this 12 box here, like that. And that's good because now this, tw this 12 box here can only be 5 and 7. 3 and 9 are ruled out and 4 and 8 are ruled out. So these three cells now are 2, 8, 9 again. That means this has to be an 8, this has to be a 2, and this has to be a 9. Okay. So again, we can do the same trick on this 3x3 three three box here. This 19 box has a 4 in it here, so these two cells will sum to 15. 15 plus 12 is 27 plus 14 uh, is 41 again. So these two cells this time have to sum to 4. And the only way that's possible is if they're 1 and 3 again, which means that this has to be a 6. This 14 box now can't be a 6 and 8 variation, it can only be a 5 9 variation. So we can write that in. And now these two cells have to sum to 15 without including 9. So again, this must be 7 and 8 in some combination. And the only way that will fit now is like that, which resolves this up here. And we still need to place um, a 6 in this column. So that's got to be a 6. I'm looking for a 2 and a 4 to complete this box here. Uh, we can see that there's a 2 in one of these two positions just by simple Sudoku. There's a 2 here and a 2 here, therefore that one of these will contain a 2. Interestingly, we have the same configuration here, a 2 in these, uh, you know, these two positions. So we know there won't be any other 2s in any of these cells. Uh, you can prove that to yourself. Imagine this was a 2. If this was a 2, this would be a 2 and this would be a 2, so that's impossible. So we know that's not the case. There's got to be a 2 in one of these three positions here. We can't quite tell yet which where that 2 is, but let's write it in just to remind ourselves. Um, probably the next thing I'd look at is uh, columns 1 and 2. You can see again there's a lot of boxes entirely contained within columns 1 and 2. And again we know these two columns must add to 90. Let's just add, do some arithmetic. So we've got 29 and 13, that's 42, plus 14 is 56, 63, 77. So we know this cell and these two cells here have to sum to 13. And that means that these two cells can't be 1 and 2, because if they were, this would have to be a 10, which is obviously not possible. Therefore, this can't be a 4, because one, either the 1 or the 2 have to appear here. 
So if this was 1 and 4, this would have to be an 8. Uh, and if this was 2 and 4, this would have to be a 7. One thing this can't be though is a 2. It's never going to be big enough to be a 2. Now, you can see this 5 or 7 in either of these things. So this is 6 or 8 again here. Now we have a 5, 7 double uh, in column 1, which is reasonably nice. It means this 7 here can only be a 1, 6 or a 3, 4. I'm just going to write in those possibilities because there's a 4 here, so this could be a 3. So if it was 3, 4, it could only go that way round. Ah, and in fact, look, I haven't spotted that. That was a, when this could be a six or an eight. We actually had an eight here, so this this has to be a six. This has to be a seven. This has to be a five. This has to be a seven. This has to be a five, which is all reasonably helpful. You can see I still need to place a nine in this box here. It can't go here for obvious reasons. It also can't go in the 14 box. So the 9's going to have to be in this big 26 box here. And simple Sudoku logic shows us that we have a 6 and a 6 here. So there's a 6 in one of these three cells. We know it's not here from the arithmetic we did earlier. And in fact, there's a 6 already in the row. Can't be here either. So in fact, the 6 has to be here. And that's, that's going to finish the puzzle. Um, because now we have 11, which means these two cells here have to sum to 3, which means they can only be 1, 2, 1, 2. And why do I think that'll finish the puzzle? It's just going to give us so much additional information now. Um, this can't be a 1 now. This can't be a 6 for obvious reasons. This, in fact, this can't be a 6 at all. So this has to be 3, 4 now. This has to be 3, 1. This now has to be 1, 2 in this direction. This is 2, 5, like this. This is 5, 7. This has to be a 7. We have a 4 and a 9 left into here. Well, the 4 can only go here. This has to be a 9. Therefore, this has to be a 9. Well, this has to be a 6, and this has to be an 8. That. Uh, this 16 box is becoming very restricted, so it could be 5, 8 if it was in this direction. And it could be 4, 9, but only if this was a 4. And this was a 9 here, like that. And the fact that we'd identified this as being a 7 means that this, in fact, now has to be an 8. And we should remember that we were expecting this cell, this cell, and this cell to sum to 13, which means this cell here has to be a 1. And this has to be a 2 now. And this is an 8, so this is a 9. And now you can see the 9, this has to be 5, this has to be 8, this has to be 9, this has to be 2, this has to be 3. Three, this has to be three, this has to be one, this has to be four, this has to be two, and you can see the puzzle's finished now in terms of there's going to be no more uh, tricky steps. And this is how you do one of these uh, complicated killer sudokus. Um, so I hope this has been pleased to be interesting. Um, Looking to place one nine here, so this has to be the nine, this has to be the one, sixteen, and that has to be a one. And I think therefore this has to be a seven, which looks like it works. So yeah, um, this is how you do one of these deadly killers. We'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic. <laughs>